I'd say like around yeah, 13 was when I started smoking weed, drinking, and um, was living in Florida. So in Florida, it's like you jump right away to cocaine pretty fast. It's like, uh, it, it, that's how it was. Like freshman year, freshman year, that's what we were um, kind of rocking out. Alcohol was was a part of that too, but um was a lot of coke in, in high school, towards early high school. And um, yeah, right at that age, man, young. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I could relate to what you're saying was that that fear. And I hadn't thought about this, but being in eighth grade, when I went from private school, seventh grade, eighth grade, public school, and before a basketball game, we go back to a teammate's house and he cracks open a beer. His parents aren't there. And there's like six of us. And I'm the only one that's like, no, and didn't take a sip because even though my parents weren't talking that my dad was an addict inside, I could feel it, you know? And so my fear, my, my fear took me all the way till about 20, 21, 22. So, but nice. man, damn cocaine freshman year. Yeah. Florida was just, so this was what, uh, late nineties. Uh, uh, yeah. This is like 90, 98. Okay. 98, you know, um, 97 98 and it was just it was just the thing out there man it was I went through heavy cocaine addiction freshman year sophomore year it was like me me and my buddies started uh stealing you know um I went to a catholic school in Daytona my mom pulled me out of she had me in catholic school put me in public school I started fucking around she put me back in it um (laughs) sophomore year like please god what would i do and it 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 was even worse because in that in that catholic school was a lot of rich kids Mm -hmm. and you know the difference of um public school and you know uh, catholic school especially with the with the the kids that had a lot of money there was like everybody was doing coke or everybody had money and it it was an addiction that sophomore year because me me and my buddy we go around to these different lockers it used to be an old hotel um and they made it into a school. So all the classrooms are basically like a hotel. There's steps and a little like a uh, uh, stairway upstairs. And then just a door. It's like it would be a hotel room, but it's a, it's a classroom. And at lunchtime, we'd go around to all the different lockers. All the kids would have their locker uh, backpacks out there. And we'd go around to all the backpacks, pick up a backpack, go into the bathroom, fucking go through it, take whatever we could get, bring the backpack back over, grab the next one rotation do that over and over and over again and that's how we fucking rocked out our addiction for a long time yeah so you were already scheming and planning and had 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 your way Uh, to survive and like you said really protect that that little kid that didn't have that that male guidance yeah because i felt very masculine in doing all that shit sure you know I, i felt i felt strong i felt powerful i felt in control i felt i felt secure but and i and i wasn't reaping the the the, i wasn't reaping all the fucking the repercussions of of the substance abuse you know my 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 brain was so fresh and young it was just like um all new you know like taking it all in like sensory overload this is the knocking doors down podcast featuring celebrities experts and everyday people who have overcome adversities including addiction mental health and trauma to live purposeful lives and that's what knocking doors down is all about This podcast contains the views and opinions of the knocking doors down hosts and their guests to the show. The content here should not be taken as medical advice. The content here is for informational purposes only. And because each person is sharing their unique perspective, please consult your healthcare professional for any medical questions. Views and opinions expressed in the podcast and website are our own and do not represent that of our places of work. While we make every effort to ensure that the information we are sharing is accurate, we welcome any comments, suggestions, or correction of errors. Privacy is of the utmost importance to us. For those wishing anonymity, people, places, and scenarios mentioned in the podcast have been changed to protect confidentiality at the request of certain guests. 
This website or podcast should not be used in any legal capacity whatsoever, including but not limited to establishing standard of care in a legal sense or as a basis for expert witness testimony. No guarantee is given regarding the accuracy of any statements or opinions made on the podcast or website. In no way does listening, reading, emailing, or interacting on social media with their content establish a doctor-patient relationship. If you find any errors in any of the content of this podcast or blogs, please send a message through the contact page. This podcast is owned by KDD Media Company.